So, but I've been calling for 15 days, and you're the first person to call me back. And you're calling me back saying, oops, it's too late. What about the two weeks of me calling and no one in your office doing anything? What, what, what was going on there? Are you making a joke, Julian? Are you making a joke? I've called her a dozen times and left messages. She's never called me back since the benefits went through and I started asking her to put through the transportation benefit. And you're the, you're the one I talked I left a message on your your machine on Friday, right? Correct. And what what was the date Friday? Friday was the 18th. Correct. Yes. So at 7.30 in the morning on the 18th, I left this request on your voicemail, and you're saying you can't do it now because that entire day you weren't able to get to it? Again, we don't actually approve this benefit. There's something, this is something that only the local family resource centers can approve, and only the assigned workers can approve. But you just said that the reason you can't do it is because it's after the 19th. So you could have done it before the 19th? If the worker would have approved it before the 19th, yes, they could have released the benefits before prior to the 19th. Now that it's past the 19th, there is not a way for us in the system to go ahead and release the benefits. But my worker can. No, the worker can't release it either. You just told me to call my worker. Now you're saying even she can't release it? Yes, as I was saying, the worker is the only one that can release it. And you waited till after the 19th to call me back and tell me that you couldn't get it done before the 19th? Again, I'm not the assigned worker. I'm not the one. But you got my voicemail on the 18th at 7.30 in the morning. Could you have reached out to my worker? The standard time frame for review is But you had that whole day. Did you not hear my message early in the day? When did you get my message? I get what your allotted time was. Your, your name was Julian again? Correct. What's your last name or, or number? Last name is Jimenez. Okay, Julian Jimenez. So I'm going to ask you again. I left the voicemail about 7.30 in the morning on the 18th. When did you get it? You didn't check your voicemail at all on, on Friday? I was not the person you spoke to. I misspoke. I did not get this request until the 22nd, which was on Tuesday. So I was not the supervisor you left this response. Well, I left, a, I, I left two. I, I've left actually three now. I've left three messages on three different supervisors, and only the one who got it yesterday responded in the system, because the one I left on Thursday and on Friday... Neither one of them even responded in the system. But I did talk to, I did leave voicemails on two supervisors' voice machines before the deadline. And I called the customer service line about a dozen times in the weeks before that, just asking my, and I, and I left messages on my workers' voicemail half a dozen times. I gave up. I stopped calling her voicemail because she's not doing a work, her job. And her job is to call me back within 24 hours, correct? You think? But you're and, and you waited. I finally get to talk to a person after and you're you're now telling me it's too late to get the money this month. Now, what what possible if you if my if my worker's supposed to have called me back by the third, 
and it's now the 23rd, and she still hasn't called me back. What type of disciplinary action will she face? But is this normal? But I mean, it's a little weird that, and, and, and that all the supervisors would ignore me until you pass the deadline where you could have put the money in. That's weird though, right? That I finally get a supervisor to call me back to tell me it's too late, but when it wasn't too late, no supervisors would do anything whatsoever? Is that weird or is that normal? But you can see in the system that I've reached out to supervisors three times before you, correct? Well, who can, bro? Yeah, who's your supervisor then? There's going to be some charge of some of you fucking idiots, considering three of you ignored the voicemail message until it was too late to put the benefit through. So who's your supervisor, Julian? That's as high as it goes? Is the level of people who can't respond to a voicemail before a deadline? Really? But there's no way I get the money until next month, correct? Fucking motherfucker. And this was an accident, it wasn't intentional. So it may have been intentional because, I mean, it's a heck of an accident for my worker to forget to do this one piece of paperwork for 20 days and for three supervisors to not call me back when they got voicemails regarding a time-sensitive issue. So, I mean, that, that doesn't happen except in this case, right? I can imagine you don't have to deal with just this level of incompetence on a normal level, right? It's just this one time, correct? Thank you.